Hi everybody! In our ongoing series on setting up your new turntable, today we're going to be talking about anti-skate, what it is and how to configure anti-skate on your new turntable. You're not going to want to miss this. Okay guys, what is anti-skate? It's actually pretty simple. It's unwanted movement of the tone arm towards the center or the outside edge of the platter or the record playing surface. So it's an important thing to control. And if you have a record player like this that has manual controls, it's something that you're gonna want to set by yourself. It's not difficult, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. The first thing is you need a smooth surface to test with. So you're gonna wanna remove any silicone or felt platter mats. You're gonna wanna replace it with either a one-sided record or even better, an acrylic platter mat like this one from Hudson Hi-Fi. It's a completely smooth surface. One side does have an inset for a protruding record label. If you have a record with a protruding record label, the other side is completely smooth edge to edge. That'll work perfectly for us. It's gonna be hard to see on this video when the platter is in motion, but I'll tell you when that is. So when you have either a one side record or a smooth platter mat like this, you can safely rest your record needle on the playing surface just like this. Now, right back here at the rear of the tone arm, you're gonna see a knob. Now this knob has different numbers on it. Those numbers correspond to different values of anti-skate settings. Out of the box, that value should be set to match the counterbalance weight in the back. So if you're tracking at 1.5 grams like I am right now, you're gonna want the anti-skate by default to be set to 1.5 and that should be accurate. However, you can have better control and finer tuned control if you manually set it. But first, let's understand exactly how this adjustment affects what's happening on the platter. Let's take a closer look. Now, when you do this, it's imperative that you have the record player on and the platter moving because how this works is when the record is in motion, the tone arm is gonna have a tendency to pull towards the center of the platter. That's specific to when it's on. Now, why we would want that to not happen is because if it's pulling towards the center, it is going to be pushing harder on that inside edge of the groove, the internal grooves, which will distort the sound, it'll wear the record, and it won't give you that accurate representation of sound that we want. We want the stylus to be neutral, completely centered in that groove, without any bias inside or outside. We want it completely dictated by the position of the groove and the groove pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the record player and I'm gonna turn on the platter. It is rotating now, it's hard to see. You can see that it's set pretty accurately out of the box right now. If you were to turn this knob to zero, you're gonna see that it's gonna to pull towards the center of the spindle. That's the tendency out of the box. If we move the knob all the way to the left, to the higher numbered position, it's gonna to pull to that outside edge. So if I move the stylus in, it's gonna automatically pull back. See how that happens? It's pushing to the outside groove, to the outside edge, which we don't want. We don't want it to wear the outside groove either. So what you're gonna to want to do is place it in the middle and you're gonna to wanna to turn the knob until you find that sweet spot. We don't want it to pushing inward and we don't want it pulling outward. So find that sweet spot by slowly turning that knob. It's still pulling a little bit to the left here. So we're gonna keep turning the knob until we find that perfect spot where it seems stationary. So that seems about right. 1.5 actually is the value that it's at now. So that was calibrated appropriately out of the box. Next, we're gonna turn this manually by hand really fast. And if it's set appropriately, it shouldn't move. So I'm turning it very fast by hand, way faster than 78, 45, or 33. And as you can see, the tone arm, the stylus, is staying stationary. It's in one position. It's not pulling in or out. That tells us it's set appropriately. So that is a properly set anti-skate. All right, guys, and that's it. As you can tell, it's not that hard, although it is important to understand what anti-skate is. For more tips and tricks and ways to improve your turntable, be sure to check out our instructional guides like this one.